Would you like to catch Santa Claus in the act? Maybe spy on him putting presents under the tree. Well, hi there, Reader Adventure, and welcome to Storytime for Kids. I'm Mrs. McCurley, and today we are going to read Twas the Night Before Christmas, the classic holiday poem by Clement Clark Moore, where we get to meet Santa Claus in action on Christmas Eve. <laughs> Let's get started. Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas would soon be there. The children were all nestled snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief, and I in my cap, had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When, out on the lawn, there arose such a clatter. I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window, I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When, what to my wondering eyes should appear? But a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer <laughs> with a little old driver so lively and quick. I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now, Dasher, now, Dancer, now, Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blixen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now, dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So, up to the housetop, the coursers they flew, with sleigh full of toys, and St. Nicholas too. And then, in a twinkling, I heard on the roof <laughs> the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur, from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys was flung on his back and he looked like a peddler just opening his sack. His eyes, how they twinkled. His dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses. His nose, like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard of his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke, it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly <laughs> that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. Oh, oh, oh. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf. <laughs> and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke, shh, not a word but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings and then turned with a jerk and laying a finger aside of his nose and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprung to his sleigh to his team gave a whistle and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim ere he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. <laughs> hey, Santa. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the story. And for more holiday fun, check out these other videos. And I hope you've been more nice than naughty this year. <laughs> Until our next video, 
Happy story time! Bye!